All right, so for literature today, you're doing your second day of poetry. Um, and it starts on page 293. Okay, poet, it says poetry is sound, rhythm, and rhyme. Poetry is nonsense. There's a lot of silly poetry out there. So you need to read through this page. It kind of explains what it is. And then it says limericks are most enjoyable when read aloud. Um, limericks have five lines. So they all have five lines and they are written to be silly. They're not written for a beautiful scene. They're not written to inform you or tell you anything. They're just meant to be lapped at. Um, that's the purpose of them. They're most enjoyable when read aloud. Reading a limit correctly is part of the fun. In the examples that follow, the syllables that should be stressed when being recited are italicized. So if it's italicized, that means kind of crooked. You're going to stress it. So I'll read this one to you. An old man was seen in the park. He writes leaves from dawn till dark. I can't stand the noise of dogs, girls, and boys. But it's worse when the dogs start to bark. Can you hear how I, like, change my... Um, change how I express the words that are tells All right, so this is a poetry book that Miss Howell wrote in college. And it's a pretty good limerick. It's very silly, so I'm going to read it to you. <clears throat> it's called A Funny Man. One day, a funny kind of man came walking down the street. He wore a shoe upon his head and hats upon his feet. He raised the shoe and smiled at me. His manners were polite, but never had I seen before such a funny-sounding sight. He said, allow me to present your highness with a rose. And taking out a currant bun, he held it to my nose. I staggered back against the wall, and then I answered, well, I never saw a rose with such a funny-looking smell. He then began to sing a song and sat down on the ground. You never heard in all your life such a funny-feeling sound. My friend, why do you wear two hats upon your feet, I said. He turned the other way about and hopped home on his head. So, I did not write the poem, I should clarify. I just created this book to go along. The poem is written by Natalie Joan. But then I did <laughs> the silly picture. So, there's my Nike shoe. There's the funny man. I had to add a shoe to his head and hat to his feet. So, he hopped home on his head. I did not write the poem. I created the book for the poem. Um, all right, so after you go through the lesson and read the poetry, and there's some pictures that go along with the limericks. Limericks are very short, five-line poems. Um, so that was a bunch of limericks put together. You're going to complete this page, page 296, and you're going to do all the activities on this page. Um, you're just kind of completing completing the limericks and making your own silly limericks. Then in your poetry book, that is the book that says my poetry notebook, um, you're going to do a limerick. The second page should say limerick. So limerick is only five lines. And you're going to write your own limerick in there. Um, yeah, that is all for literature.